Lego. 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 Breaking news. Hey, Breaking everybody. News. Welcome back Breaking to Back news. to Brick. I'm your host, Garrett, and this is the podcast where we talk to fellow AFOLs from around the world about their Lego builds and how they go about building them. And we get down to the Breaking News every week to talk about all things Lego has been up to for, well, you guessed it, the past week. Thank you for tuning in and stopping by to the Breaking News as well as the Back to Brick podcast. You can subscribe to us on any of your favorite podcast listening apps such as Spotify and Apple, and you can also leave us a review on Apple Podcasts so that the name can get out more, and you can give us a full review if you like some things we say or you don't like some things. We like pure honesty here. Well, it's one of those days where you go from productive day to just kind of wanting to be lazy and then you just kind of feel blah and you're not here but that's okay some of those days happen and today we just had a long day of work and just coming home we don't want to cook dinner blah but that's okay I built some of my Lego I've been working on the Disney castle I haven't been building a set in a very long time I usually design them and it's been fun I've spread it out one bag or one set of bags per day so we're at bag 10 i believe so and it's 14 bags so it's going to take about two weeks which is fun i really appreciate having that time to build and we're continuing to move the podcast forward and what's cool is that john was doing a live stream the other day and somebody actually gave him a bit of money for his work so let's all shout out to john for doing such a great job and forever whoever gave us the five dollars was a really great gift and hope we can continue to provide the content that makes you want to give back to us and now we'll kick off and get right into the breaking news, what you've come here and been searching for. Lego Ideas third round has finally been completed. 36 projects have qualified for the review from Lego. It's, uh, I, I think it's their highest. I'm not 100%, but they have some really great sets this time. My favorite, of course, is going to be the Stargate gate. I, I just love Stargate. It's a great great series and i really appreciate that somebody actually got to ten thousand. there's also the uh, terrariums we've got land ahoy from one of our podcast guests the james webb space telescope and many more unfortunately we all know that they'll probably pick one or two so these people that got their entries in they got recognized by the lego community they'll get a little bit of a shopping spree which is fun but i hope that they can resubmit and try again because a lot of these definitely should become sets VIP coins are back. As of the 11th of January, they were put on the VIP reward center. These collectible coins, you can get the five of them. We've got Pirates, Space, the Gold Coin, Octan, and the Castle. These were only available for people that weren't able to get all of them, or uh, they only got a few and they needed the rest. And let's just say they sold out extremely quickly, and they were resold, of course, on eBay for an absorbent amount of money. I just hope the people that actually wanted them got them to complete their set or just got them because they didn't get it the first time. For all those that scalped them so that they could resell them, I do not like you very much. So Overwatch 2 sets for LEGO were supposed to come out this month, but they've been delayed. I was set back due to the concerns from workplace culture at Blizzard. We've all heard the news wrapped around it where we had sexual harassment, toxic work environment, and LEGO has stated we are currently reviewing our partnership with Activision Blizzard given concerns about the progress being made to address continual allegations regarding workplace culture, especially the treatment of female colleagues in creating a diverse and inclusive environment. Um, so they're going to continue to delay these products. They were supposed to come out February 1st, but I think Lego is making the right move here. A lot of controversy behind it, and they don't want their brand kind of being dragged in the mud with them. Lego's Queer Eye set has a lot of design in it, including some of the minifigure attire, one including a leather jacket, which is inspired by the James Kincannon jacket. This designer created it for one of the cast members in 2018. He's filing a lawsuit in Connecticut in federal court against Lego for not asking for his permission or authorization to create his work. He has not been compensated and he believes he should be specifically for the sales of these sets. It does have a striking resemblance and down to the patches. So Lego probably should have reached out. I'm not really sure of the legal aspects of this, but since it was given as a gift and it's seen on the show, maybe they have the rights to it. I'm not 100% sure. We talked last week about the UK Lego prices going up, some going down, but a lot of them uh, going up just incrementally. 
and it seems that they've also increased the pick a brick cups in the uk upwards of 25 percent from the small cup at seven pounds to eight pounds and larger cup from 12 pounds to 15 pounds that's a pretty drastic increase for people that go to the stores just to get the bricks they want so there's a petition that's being signed uh, right now 55 signatures in the past five days and you can actually go find this and sign it yourself if you're in the uk wanting to get some price reductions on things like this it just affects a lot of builders and hopefully lego will take heed and try to create a competitive but fair pricing scheme. The Lego Marvel mech suits were delayed based on a modification that needed to be done to the joints. These joints were not able to really sustain the weight of the arms and legs, so they went back and readjusted the joints. And now it's been noted that on April 1st, all of the sets will be released with these new joints. That's a pretty good way that LEGO was able to correct that issue quickly and get them back out onto the market. They're pretty cool. I'm not looking to get these myself, but I know playability will be very high. As we've seen in the past year, LEGO continues to cater towards the Adults Are Welcome brand, and it seems that a new set, which is under a new license, will be coming out on August 1st of 2022. We're not quite sure what it'll be. The only thing it's been labeled as is an IP entertainment set. It could be a range of many different things. Hopefully it's something we're all, you know, interested in buying, and LEGO's been pretty good at that, definitely catering to the um, pop culture scene. Lego is pretty well known for its themes. We had Monkey Kid this past year, we've had Harry Potter, and a bunch of others. And there's a mystery theme that's coming back or brand new. We're not quite sure yet, but it could mean the reintroduction of the Indiana Jones sets. These sets came out around the time of the Crystal Skull, which there's another one uh, coming out. I'm not really sure what it's called, but Indiana Jones 5, where Harrison Ford is reprising his role as Indiana Jones at, I believe, the age of 75. It, so I don't know who will take the mantle after. But the sets were always really cool, and I actually never was able to get them because I was focused on other sets but I would be really appreciative of this coming back as well as Lord of the Rings once the TV series comes back and maybe we'll have sets catered to that as well. As Lego celebrates their 90th anniversary we already know that one of the sets that was voted on for the contest will be coming out but it also seems that they'll be coming out with a 90th anniversary Lego collectible minifigure series. This could be coming out later in the year, probably around July and August, and the collectible minifigures could be a range of all kinds of things. Maybe we'll get Castle, Space, Pirates, Bionicle would be really cool on that scale. So many options, even some of the adventures and so on, would be really cool to call back to all the things Lego has done and maybe one of them will have a little wooden deck, uh, which would be a great callback to the classic beginnings of LEGO. A new logo has been cited for the Duplo series. Duplo has the standard yellow um, bubble lettering for the word Duplo, and then they had the red bunny above, where it's on its side, just a little smile. And the newest logo has a bunny that is more animated and popping out from behind the Duplo series and a big smile on its face, not just a single line. It's cute, definitely a good addition and upgrade as the Duplo logo has been around since the early 2000s. This will be a nice upgrade and uh, continuation of the series. Bricklink Studio has officially replaced the Lego Digital Designer. Lego acquired Bricklink back in 2016, and Bricklink's been continuing in their digital design program, Studio, or Stud.io, as I like to call it, because that's what it was originally called. As of this January, there's going to be a shutdown of the LDD website come the 31st of January. It'll no longer be available for download, and you'll have to build either on Mechabricks or Studio. I'm a big fan of Studio. I think it's a great user interface with its instructions and mosaic, as well as the ability to move things around easily. I'm looking to see how they can expand on this and maybe even move it to an app-based system. Now we all have the pick-a-brick walls and also the bricks and pieces. These are separate sites that you can go to to pick the bricks you need and purchase them. Lego has decided they're going to merge them. Uh, this not only gives a better centralized hub for people to shop for their bricks that they need, but also shipping in the United States and Canada is going to drastically decrease. We're talking from 13 to 18 business days to ship down to five days. They're also called Build a Mini, which allows you to create your own minifigure. Unfortunately, it's stated that the trial will only be in Europe and Asia. 
which that doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't it be in the United States and Canada if they just talked about the improvements that it would make for shipping? Hopefully the trial won't last too long and it'll get to us and have the ability to pick the pieces you want as well as the minifigures you'd like to build. The month of February brings us the New York Toy Fair. This is where we get our first glimpse of this year's Lego sets. It's been quite a few years since we've seen any um, because, well, the pandemic. And we were excited to see, well, I was excited to see on February 19th through the 22nd, maybe we'd see some sets. But as the pandemic continues, the Toy Fair has officially been canceled. So we're just going to have to wait and see throughout the year as, well, leaks and other indications of what sets will be coming out will show for the Lego Enterprise for the year. And that's all the breaking news we have today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate every one of you listening to the podcast and, you know, making your voice heard. You can find us on our Instagram at back to brick two, where you can talk with me or John and we're John's pretty attentive. He'll answer you. And if you want to have one of your mocks featured on our page, we'd love to, so we can show off your work and show the community what you have done with Lego. Cause that's what we're here for to design and build and just have a good time. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast at back to brick on your favorite podcast listening apps, such as Spotify and Apple and any of the other podcast listening apps you use. Make sure to come back on Monday for our designer interview. We will continue to do those and have some great designers come on every Monday so you can hear about their stories and get some inspiration for some builds that you might want to do. So I'll leave you as I always do. Get creative, get out there, and go build something.